It started as a Facebook page with a purpose to clean up their city. Well, now Clean Up Candler has turned into something much bigger. His first public forum was tonight. News 13's Jerrica Insko joins us live along Smoky Park Highway. And Jerrica, one of the main concerns is the businesses along that stretch. That's right. People want this area to look better, but mostly cleaner. They say there's too much litter, but it's mostly the clutter that's bothering them. Hey, this is what community's all about. Every seat filled has a purpose and a person with a concern. A few hundred people and issues crammed into Inca Middle School's auditorium. Graffiti, drug deals and parking lots of our various businesses. Vandalism. It's a community group with a very specific goal for Old Candler Town. We need to bring it out of the 19th century, um, right, the 20th century and into the 21st century. It's important to bring us into a modern day age. Many living here are behind this Clean Up Candler campaign, wanting to know which way to turn for help to keep their town alive. But the only one that seems to be repetitive is clean that up and you know we'll go a long way in making Candler start to you know look much better. The most talked about question of the night leads us to this business along Smoky Park Highway. Why is this junkyard not being regulated by the state, by the county, or by the feds? So tonight's meeting confronted state, county, and city officials. It does a lot of harm to the community. The main reason for this gathering being to get answers. Hopefully this will give law enforcement some of the tools they need to stop this problem. We can definitely relate to the frustration that people experience who have this happen to their property or just have to see it. Things that people consider eyesores in their community. And I'm hoping that with a group effort we might get some of these problems addressed. Things these folks say are holding Candler back from moving forward. Now the Clean Up Candler Facebook page now has more than 1,000 likes and people are getting on there daily and posting their concerns and they encourage people to do that. And they also say that if you want to join in on the conversation, you should use the hashtag OCT and that stands for Old Candler Town. Reporting live in Candler, Jerrica Insko, News 13.